Alright, we're about reading, so uh, we're behind, so let's just get going. <laughs> uh, get the V6 turbo. Shoot. <laughs> Wait, there's no way that's the motor, right? <laughs> what is... Oh, no, is that the... Oh, okay, that's them air pumping. Air pumping the, the solenoid, okay. Yeah, this is getting an S tier. You already know. This is going into the new, going into the new Porsche 911, going into the GT3 RS. That's the engine right there. Almost ready for the first comp. It's looking, looking, no, it's looking, it's looking like something. It's looking okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we started building as well. I've been very, very busy, but you know, we're going to get into some of these builds. I think you can um, probably protect your motor s somehow different than this. I'd move your motor probably like back here and then just chain it instead of direct like connecting it, especially since the wires on the outside. See how, how the wires all the way on the outside? If you get into like some like, if you like ram someone or someone rams you, then your wire could be in for in for a ride to say the least. But yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I can see being improved here. I, this is from a while ago, so I'm guessing they probably hopefully improved it. I'm gonna give this a D tier. Sister team activities. We're B, A copy B, C try to copy A. Uh, most of C and D are started this year very very interesting i mean all, all these just this one looks like a actual you know uh, almost functional lady brown right they don't have the lady brown there yet i think yeah this one it's just starting to it's just like looking worse <laughs> as you go on you're just like oh it looks pretty good oh <laughs> oh and wow you know i'd give this like a like a beat like a like maybe uh, actually since this is like literally scraping the floor, I'll give this a C tier. I'll give this a D tier, and then both of these are like gonna be F tiers. Overall, I think that's an average out to a D tier. All right, Doom Robot. Wow, very cool. I mean, a little late on Halloween, but hey, cool. No, interesting. Very very. It looks very heavy. <laughs> M tier. That's what they're getting. Meta or nah? Let's see. <laughs> wow, that that came. Did someone calculate the the velocity, the exit velocity of that? Cause that's going, that's going pretty fast. That's getting a. I mean, I don't know. The rest of the robot looks okay. I think it's just a regular like hook, Lady Brown. Right, the structure looks like that. I'll give it a B tier. Rank the new drive base. The new drive base looks okay. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of stacked motors in like a while, honestly. But the main thing is. Like, what is going on with the with the two tractions and one Omni? I mean, like, I guess I, I can totally see what's good, about to happen though. Like, they're gonna like they're gonna put a uh thirty six teeth here. Or no, sorry, yeah, I think not. They're, sorry, not a thirty six teeth, a sixty teeth. Excuse me, here and then a thirty six teeth here for their drivetrain. But that's a little weird. I think this is running. That's running three thirty three RPM. Yeah, interesting. 333 RPM, and then you got a steel brakes on the front, on the back. But like, there's like no, nothing under here. I think you can totally put something under here as well, right, to brace the front. Overall, I think I'm gonna give you the seats here. It's okay. Wing -ling. Pretty pretty quick intake. Even though we did realize that we, we, we that this actually does not work. I was at the tournament. They said that the, that you know it only it <laughs> it it was not very good. So. You know, seeing at the tournament, I'll give it a C tier, but it, over, it, it could be good still. I'm not sure though. Now it's shooting. Yeah. From 7047R. Sorry, we're going a little bit fast because we're just <laughs> we're just so far behind. But Lady Brown, I wonder what this is for. It just looks like uh, one of those tangents from from Spin Up. Looks like, it looks like the Captain Tangent. Right, with all the gears in the front because you really don't need that many gears that i don't think at least unless you're like gearing down a, a 600 rpm motor which would be which would be crazy also back here right i see that it's kind of like exposed a little bit i think i mean what you can do is just like take a couple of rubber bands tie it tie it around the the wire and then pull the wire with or pull the bands around the motor sorry around the battery to secure that right i figured that's a very good an easy way to secure it and yeah this is a it's a pretty nice like robot overall i think i think you can you could have done like just drilled holes in the hydrogen shaft but i guess like if they didn't really if they didn't have any like uh strong enough drills to drill through the hydrogen shaft this is a good way to do it too i think it's pretty nice however 
seeing that there's this 24 teeth makes me wonder how heavy this robot is. I'm going to guess it's like 14 pounds or maybe even more because those are pretty heavy. I'm going to give it a B tier. All right. Currently working on Lady Brown. Waiting for pet. Waiting for parts. Interesting sensor. Yeah. All, all very, very, very interesting. I like the color theme. Got the Hulk color theme. Interesting. And I think this is like definitely too short for the, the hook tower. I don't know what the plan for the hook tower is. I think they should have just made this way higher. And then you would have been fine with the hook tower. Unless they're going to do like a triangle brace here. Which also would work, right? You would come from like here. Back, like up and back here. And you can support it off maybe this. And then you just put it in a hook tower like that. I'm going to give this a C tier. Ignore the horrible camera quality. I see the flaps and tick again. Alright. I mean, it works for some people definitely. But yeah. The wire management. It's a little bit poor. But that's okay. I think this is a Kata, right? This is one of those flipper mechs. It looks nice. You know, I, I, do, I do think it looks good. However, I think, I think, I think, I think, I don't, I don't know what this is for. There's like a sprocket here with, with no chain. Maybe it's supposed to be uh, chained over there. You've got to remember to, to, tie, to put that chain on. And also, I do notice that your, I think your outer C channel is, is further forward, right? That's a great way to make funnels. Right, but I don't know if you're taking advantage of that and actually have a funnel. Where you can have a funnel, so then the rings, whenever it's like on the outer edge, your entirety of the robot's width is pretty much the intake, if that makes sense. You can look at some spin-up robots for that, but yeah, I'll give this a C tier as well. 3536V, Vortex, work in progress. Thoughts so far? Well, you know, looks, looks, looks alright, looks pretty clean. Let's see. You know, I don't really like how, you know, you're pulling back on on that goal, right? Because whenever you push, you, you you have a lever and you're pulling back, right? The uh, the goal has the goal has to go in the shape of whatever your your clamp sets out to be, right? So you're so whenever if you pull on this side, then your goal is going to tilt in less than if you pull pull on this side. If that makes sense. Right? So what I'd rather do is uh, I see like good teams like Ace Robotics and 360X push down on the goal, right? They push down on the goal. So the goal, so all of this area, right, is the same compared to these corners being different. So that could help a lot. I don't know. And yeah, I mean, everything else looks looks fine. I think, I don't know This is why this is so far out. I think this can just easily snap and just not really a point of having like a big... Like it's not. It's not really a point of having like huge like guiders. Sorry, like uh, if you didn't plan them out about beforehand. I mean, I guess like if if you can stack stack the poly a lot, like two on the bottom, two on the top, and make sure they don't snap, then it's okay. But like that's kind of strange. I I would plan that out beforehand, right? Uh, I think maybe they, they did do that. I'm not sure though. I don't think they they did. I think it's yeah. This is really weird because it's it's zip tied, right? To hold it, like, hold it on properly, they zip-tied it, which I don't really like, because it's, like, just plan it out uh, beforehand, right? Just just plan it out. You can you can make the outer drivetrain one hole longer, right? If you're running a five-wide, you can run, make your outer drivetrain one hole longer, and you can run a six-piece, a six-log one-by-one through it. That's been, And it will perfectly fit, right? Just a little tip. But, yeah, I think we'll give this a seat tier. Agree with the people. Read my skeleton, not cod. This cat is getting, this cat is getting a, it's getting a C tier. I think I, I mean, it's just a pretty standard Lady Brown. Fusion renders of mid robot. If you say, if you say it's mid robot, then. I mean, actually, it's not even that bad. It looks pretty good. I just don't know like why, using a high strain shaft for here. Cause I think you can just like extend this out maybe a little bit, right? With a with like a standoff and like a one by one, and then you can support it out here as well, right? And run a low strain shaft because hydrogen shafts are, usually have more friction. So, yeah, pretty. No, it's actually pretty nice. You can also use a low strain shaft here, by the way. You can just like zip tie them together, right? To or you can have a, a one by one in the between, right? That's drilled out for the high strain shaft to prevent them from like separating, right? And skipping. 
That's pretty useful. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm giving this a, an A tier, actually. Mid-season mogul scoring. What's going on? Okay, we have a bit of a hood. The hood looks alright. Yeah, looks, looks decent. Where's the, the wall stick smack? There's no wall stick smack. Oh wait, is there? I think there is. Is that the... No, actually, never mind. I thought, I thought they were going to lift it like the Ace robot from early season, but no, they didn't. I'll give this a, a B tier. Alright. Ooh. That's nice. That's really good. Alright. Because then that allows you to... Oh, they're, they're, never mind. They're saying how that this chain is not connected, which is a good catch. Right. But we already rated this robot before. We bring the boom. It's the Costco guys robot. 355Z with bringing the boom. No wall stakes, however. But I mean, I think it looks really fast. This is a 600 RPM drive. Could be. Looking at all the 36s, I think it's a, maybe a 600. So all about that speed, I guess, right? Don't really need to. I mean, you still need. You still need to do wall stakes, even if you have like all the speed, because those are still so important. I'll give this a C tier. All right, thanks.